guys, welcome back. We are here at Rifle Falls State Park, which is just a little north of Rifle, Colorado. And one thing I've noticed so far, it's very busy. Um, we came in late last night, but it's very hard to find a, find our camp spot. We're kind of like in this group of three and couldn't see where we were going. Anyway, um, it is like 11 o'clock and there is a parking area just up this way for the actual falls like waterfall hiking area and it is full so now we just have people parking basically wherever they want there is a camp spot next to us that people are just parking in and going and walking so if you want to come here i recommend coming early and leaving early so you don't have to deal with you know a million people there are people all over the place so and just basically a steady stream of cars so or just come during the week maybe would be a, a good plan anyway not gonna dwell on that so anyway yeah we're just kind of getting away from work this is clearly not like an overlanding type of backcountry trip we're at a state park but um, you know just trying to get away from work and uh, yeah um, I do have uh, a little unboxing. Um, we got a new like spare tire trash bag thing. So I'll show you that here in uh, a little bit. So we're gonna go up and take a walk with the dog and see what this is all about. So these are right by the campground. So if you wanna stay here, it's really close. This little, look at that. It's kind of creepy a little bit. If you're skinny enough, you can fit through there.
good heavens. Oh, this is it. This is as far as it goes. So there's Way cooler in here. There's the. Whoa. What about that way? Oh. No, that's it. It's just this little hole. Huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, nope, no peeing in here. Come on. Of course there's a Coors Light can in there. Why wouldn't there be? It's totally Colorado. So it looks like back in 1890, Alan brought bought this property and built a hotel. Looks like it burned down in 1923. So, if we go <laughs> Looks like eventually the, uh, the bridge didn't do any good. Because <laughs> people just walk around it now. But I guess there's some caves and whatnot up here. And then there's a trail that goes up there. So that's where we're heading now. caves there. Stone caves. You know? I don't know what's back there. Yeah. Oh boy. Can't see anything back in here. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, they carved out little benches down in here. Oh. There's a little theater.
you know, for as busy as the parking lot is and all the people parking everywhere, there's really not many people on this trail uh, that goes up and around, so that's kind of nice. And yeah, there were a few people at the falls, but it wasn't a madhouse like I thought it would be. I'm so out of shape. these metal structures and it looks like they're man-made falls. Which is kind of interesting, but the falls were here already. You can tell where the falls were, but these were put here long ago to generate electricity, which are not working anymore. But yes, the falls were, were here. So you can see like this one's still natural, but the one over there, um, they just put a pipe in to generate electricity. Well, I couldn't, the sign was so worn out, I can't tell uh, when they were put in. Just down the way from Rifle Falls is Harvey Gap State Park. And I'd have to say it's pretty sad. Now I'm not sure how the snow melt affects this, but uh, you can tell the lake is way down there and the water line is way up here. It's pretty bad. Um, I don't know if this is normal for this time of year or what, but, um, yeah, it's, well, I don't know if you could see over there, the water's supposed to be way up. It's hard to tell on camera. What do you think, Max? Water's really low. You can tell. I mean, it's supposed to be way up there. I don't think any amount of snow melt's gonna help this. <sighs> you can see water's usually, like there's the base of that hill, so like right up there. We are way underwater right now. At least we're supposed to be. It's a nice day. <laughs> Gosh, you're <laughs> vic victorious here. Get it. Bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> Drop it. Drop. Drop. Drop the stick. Drop it. Drop it. You ready? I won't throw it very far out, you weenie. 
The other stick's just blown <laughs> Look away. Look at him go. <laughs> I have found some BLM land and I get to do some off-roading. This is pretty cool. So we're out in some BLM land. It's pretty washed out. Um, I don't know if you can kind of camp it out here or what, but some cool off-road kind of trails. There's not a lot, but enough to have a little fun. It's very, very deserty. Hey guys, so I've got a bit of a unboxing. It's not sponsored or anything like that. We paid for it. We actually uh, picked this up after we saw it at um, Overland Expo Mountain West. So we bought a Kelty like spare tire trash bag we thought it was super cool so it's similar to you know a lot of the other ones on the market but they feel that it's gonna do better I don't know that's what they told me but okay there for a bag there is a lot of bubble wrap <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they don't want that fabric to break <laughs> oh my gosh you think they could have found a smaller box. So, uh, all right. Oh, it says Excel. Yeah, you can see it. It says Excel outdoors. Okay, Delty, it's their trash pack. And you can see like, you know, it goes on the spare tire of like a Jeep or whatever. We have a spare tire on the side of our camper, so we thought this would be perfect. I have seen a lot of people that put these on like their tailgates on their truck, so we'll see if it'll work, but I don't know. So the front of it is kind of a like rubbery material instead of uh, like canvas, like a lot of these you see. There are There is canvas on the inside of it, but the part that sees the sun is like a, I don't know if you can see it, it's shiny. Right, so, um, but there is, on the other side of it, it's canvas, so it's coated on this side. Um, there are some clips, and it looks like some extra straps to strap things to it. And then you flip it open, and uh, that's pretty big. Well, this is so you can so on the bottom, these are adjustable, so you can expand the bottom or tighten it up. You can see there. All right, there's a little pocket on the front. Maybe you can, user manual. Um, maybe you could put like your extra trash bags in there or something. 
that's right on the front. Um, more packing material. There are, yeah, there's not much to it. I mean, it's a bag. There's a drain hole in the bottom in case you'd spill something gross in there. And then here are our uh, straps to put around the spare tire. So it also goes around this way and then around the top and bottom. So I'm hoping that these would reach around the tailgate of the truck, but we'll see. So, but other than that, I mean, it's nice and secure now. Um, definitely not going anywhere. Um, so you wanna 80, grab those accessory? 85, 85 liters. Yeah, so this is 85 liters. It doesn't look too big, um, you know, from, from the way it is, but we don't have anything in there. And then, um, you just unstrap it. There is a um, bungee here, so you can tighten it up. And we don't have our trash bag in here yet, but I mean, this thing's cavernous. And then there's some straps on the bottom down here that you can loosen up and make it even bigger. And then it comes with these accessory straps, so if you don't have a spare tire, or you know, a back a door like van. this, camper van That's would work too. Camper van. Um, so you get rid of the clips on the um, on the bag, and then they will hook over the top, and then you can strap it to like a door, around a door, like so. So it comes with those. These are metal, and then their clips are all plastic, which, you know, I guess, I don't know what else you would have. Waterproof, anyway. waterproof fabric, um, all weather resistant, fade resistant, exterior. Again, there's a little, little zipper on the front, but other than that, I we mean, do We do expect it to turn slightly purple because the know, model we'll that was at the show had a little bit of a purple tinge cast to it that had been sun hit, but you know, here in Colorado, sun is Always around. Well, let's put the trash bag in it and see. It has some, some like straps in here. I don't know how you would strap up your trash bag. The trash bags with the wings on, because they said just tie them to these. Just kind of a like this bag doesn't work so well. I guess you could just throw your trash in there. It'll get kind of gross. But anyway, that's it. It's a, it's a trash bag. Oh, well, uh, whether or not I keep the trash bag, I don't know. Um, we'll have to just try it out for a little bit, but I don't know what Kelty's return policy is, so I guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You think we should keep it? Total pain to put on, but like they said. The pain is at the very first installation. After that, it should be better. So maybe we'll take it down. Or we just put it leave back it on. on there. I don't see why we would take it so off. So we'll take it down, put it back on, and see if uh, somebody decides to walk away in anger and frustration. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you like this video. And, uh, yeah, hopefully next time we'll have maybe a little overlanding adventure. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. See ya.